Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the another video. Since I'm shooting this video because 18.0.1 is not out yet and a lot of people are facing a lot of issues regarding battery life and many many more. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about despite 18.0.1 is not out yet and you are on 18.0 or 18.1 any beta, how you can improve the battery life, how you can improve the performance and how you can solve the heating issues. So starting with the very first thing is let's talk about how you can improve your battery life. So I did a full fledged video that is available on my channel if you want to. But in this video, I will be sharing a couple of tips from that video. So if you want to get to know about the full fledged video, go and check out that video. I will drop the link of the video in the description. Now coming back to this video, let's talk about what you can do to improve the battery life and improve the battery draining. Very first thing, go to the journal, go to the background apps over here. This is the background app refresh menu as you can see. If you don't want any app to be used your background services, just turn that off. For example, I don't want this app to use my background app refresh services. So I turn this off. If it is on, definitely it is going to consume more battery and there will be a battery draining. So it is off. So you can customize every other app according to your choice if you want to. Now go back, go to the privacy and security over here into your main settings. When you are over here, go to the tracking over here and turn off the tracking for every other application off. If it is turned on by default, it will definitely running in the background and, and it will try to track app so it can give you more ads. So it is going to consume a lot of battery. So just turn this off for every other app. Now go back from here and go to the location services over here. Customize the location services according to your choice. If you don't need location for any application, just select it for never or if you want to use location for any application just select it on while using the app don't go for the always if you choose always it will be take it will be taking a uh, battery life it will be consuming battery life in the background as location will be on every single time so it is better just to choose while using the app just this customize this for every other app it is going to improve a lot of battery life of your device now go to system services, go all the way down over here in the product management. From here, turn off the location services for three, these three applications. Now go on top. These are some system services. You can also customize location for system services. For example, if you don't want to use HomeKit, just turn this off. If you want to use Find My iPhone, turn the, this on. So you can also customize it according to your choice. The settings which are very crucial, you can turn on the settings which you don't care about. Just turn off the location for that setting. It is also going to enhance a lot of your battery life. Now go back from here, go all the way down and the uh, analytics and improvements from here, you can turn off this shared iPhone analytics and it is going to enhance your battery life a lot. If this is on, it will be sharing data with the um, Apple to improve the iPhone, but it is not going to benefit you. Uh, in fact, it is going to take your lot of battery life. So just turn this setting off. Now by doing these, uh, couple of settings you are you will be able to save a lot of battery on your iphone you need to understand one thing the battery will not get better just by doing this you have to wait for a couple of days because i was always take a couple of days to get stable so since 18.0.1 is not out yet you can do this stuff to improve the battery life of your iphone also now talking about the heating issues if you are having heating issues um try to use original apple charger try to use original apple data cable don't rely on third party cheap copies or anything um try to use the official products if you cannot use official product at least try to use the products that are certified from apple now if you use such products your device will get better the performance will get better and this is quite necessary also for the battery health of your iphone so this was just a simple video talking about how you can improve the battery life of your iphone 
even without 18.0.1. I hope you like this video. If you did, give, give this video a big thumbs up. Do like and share this video. Subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Peace out.